So let's go to the infrared. Mm-hmm. Here's how you make a color picture with infrared. You ready? Go ahead. You get three bands within the infrared, the full infrared part of the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Infrared is very wide. In fact, it's much, it's much, much wider, wider than, than you did. Right. right. Okay. You get three bands, one on the left, one in the middle, one on the right of that range of, ba- of, that range of light. Okay. Take pictures of the universe in those three bands of light. Okay. Because something might be giving a little more information in one band versus another. That's why something looks a different color than something else. I then have three otherwise identical photos taken through three different filters. Right. Now, here's what I do. I slap an R, a G, and a B filter on those images. I take that light. It's, it's, it's photons recorded as infrared But I assign these photons to blue, these to green, and these to red. And stack them together, and I have a full-color photograph. There you go. That's how you make a full-color photograph. You might not know this, but all-color photography has three, has a red, a green, and a blue sensor, whatever it is that's detecting the lights. It's CCD. Yeah, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. And it's the the merging of those three that gives you the full spectrum of light. So when you're doing that with a camera, which all cameras do that. Well, the film does it. The the film. But in a camera nowadays, it would be the sensor. So is it is it false color? Is it fake color? Right. I'd like to think.